guys welcome to the blue elephant gifts today we're going to be working on some christmas ornaments for christmas in july uh we're going to be using rolio mica powder in blue iris an unbranded white mica powder and unicorn disco glitter party blend from walmart um you can see right now i'm just mixing up my mica powders um, I want them to be so that they are not transparent at all. I'm going to be doing a combination of white, blue, and silver. For this first ornament, I wanted to have a white stripe going through the middle. I want it to have the silver glitter up at the top where it's going to hang from the tree. And the blue down at the bottom. Now for this next one, I kind of want it to look like the snow... Kind of coming down and following onto the blue at the bottom um kind of like it's dripping down so that's kind of the effect i was going for um we'll see if it turns out once it dries but as you can see the way i'm kind of filling it so that it's kind of just like dripping down through the middle and the sides now the christmas tree that i'm doing next you can see it's kind of got a more of a 3d effect to it um it says mary in it and then it has the star that's going to be cut out on it uh, what I want to do is I want to make it a two-tone, so I want the white on the front, and then I'm going to have the blue in the back. So I'm just putting a little bit in it just to get a base layer down, so as not to cover up the words Mary, um, so that when I come back later on after this is dried and put the blue on, you'll be able to see the two tones of the different colors. And right now you can see I'm just kind of spreading it out along the sides. I'm pushing the resin with my dotting tool up through the letters to make sure that there's no air pockets in there and the resin gets the whole way through so that the words will show nicely when I do mold later on. Now we're going to do the same thing with the bell. It's the same kind of mold where it's the 3D, only this time I want the front to be blue. And I'm going to do the same thing with my dotting tool. I'm going around it through the tree um, to get out the air pockets in there. Just drag the resin through so it covers. Um, I go in around the little hole for the uh, ribbon. You want to make sure air pockets like to get stuck there and then it's going to have a big hole in it. And we don't want that to happen. Um, these molds, I'm just filling up this one with the blue. And then I'm going to go in and hit it with the white at the bottom. Um, they've got the cute little designs on them. So you got to be really careful that the resin gets into all those little crevices so that you don't get the air bubbles. And you can see I'm just kind of squishing it around to get the resin bubbles from sticking to the sides. I'm going to make this one here that says Merry Christmas, just straight blue. Um, later on, after I do mold it, I'll probably do something with the front of it and highlight that. I'm just giving it a little tap to encourage any bubbles that are stuck on the bottom to loosen up. For the snowflake, I'm just going to put white in the tips. Um, I will go around and do that, and then I'm going to do something else in the center. You'll see here in a second. I'm going to take my glitter and slowly so that it pushes the white that's kind of started to flow towards the front, it's gonna push it back towards the tips. Um, just kind of dripping it in there pretty slowly um, to do that and to fill up the mold because I really want the white concentrated more so at the, the top of the snowflake um, than in the middle. And then I'm just gonna go now and add a little bit more white just to fill up my mold the rest of the way. And I'm just doing it a couple drips at a time. I don't want to overflow. And again, I don't want that white to go and overtake the entire snowflake. I really want the glitter to show through. All right, so this is the next day. And my blue resin is dried on the front. So now I'm just taking my white mica powder. It's the same one that I used initially. And I'm filling up the back of it. And then the same thing with the Christmas tree. I'm taking the same blue. I had darkened it a tiny bit with one drop of black pigment paste because I wanted that deeper, darker blue as opposed to a bright blue. So this is going in the back of the tree so that when I demold it, you'll see the blue in the background where the words Mary is at. And we'll have our two-toned ornament, the opposite of what the bell is. Um, now I'm just using up the rest of my uh, resin that I had poured so I don't waste it. So I'm just gonna do this like a kind of swirly type pattern 
going around with a popsicle stick right now and just kind of swirling the colors together. Um, with the rest of it, I'm going to make a snowflake. Um, you'll see I'm just pouring the blue in now, just using up the rest of it. And then I'm going to take the rest of the white that I have left and just dump it straight in the middle. And you'll see it's going to cause a really, really cool effect on it when I demold it the next day. And it is demolding day, my favorite, favorite time of the day. So first we're going to start with the snowflake. And it's a little, a little iffy to get out some of those uh, tight spots in the middle of each individual part of the snowflake. Um, it gets a little tricky because you don't want to rip the mold. So you kind of got to coax it out a little bit. I'm super happy with how this turned out. I think it's absolutely stunning. Um, as you can see, the mold came out perfect. Now look at this, look how gorgeous that is. That's the back of it. Um, the glitter really came through, but it's the front side that I love. The 3D effect that the clear resin that was in mixed in with the glitter gave, it just kind of gives it that really really cool effect uh, this is the one that says Merry Christmas on it that I did in just straight blue and it comes out absolutely beautifully um, I did not take the time that I should have to go through all of the little uh, Merry Christmas parts and all of the decorations so I did get a lot of air bubbles in that one now this one is beautiful too um, I think I'm gonna use the back side as the front on this um, just this blue and white one again I love the way it turned out that's the side that I'm going to use it didn't give me the effect that I wanted to with the snow kind of falling down over the bulb but it still turned out pretty this one um, again it's a beautiful mold it came out beautifully I didn't do what I should have done and taken the time out like I should have so I did get a lot of air bubbles in that one as well now right here I'm putting a top coat on. I went through and uh, got some designs off my Cricut and put them on. I uh, lost the footage for, of that part of it so I apologize. Um, but I am doing the top coat on the two blue ones and some other ones that are going to be in another video. Um, so the thing that I did wrong here was I had some other projects going on and I kind of waited a little too long and my resin was getting ready to set. So I kind of screwed up a little bit here. So my resin's getting really, really thick and it's kind of getting to the point where it's a little bit thicker consistency than honey and it's starting to get gummy and stringy. So I was having a hard time getting my, um, getting it to flow the way it should have. I mean, they still turned out okay in the end, but note to self, don't wait so long when you're uh, doing your top coat. You can see how thick it is. I mean, it's just, it's getting goopy thick. Um, anyway, when you do the top coat, you just want to put it on the middle. Make sure that your space is level um, because you don't want it to run over on either sides and kind of coax it very gently and, and, and easily and slow towards the edge because resin has a surface tension. So as long as you don't put too much on and your surface is level, it's only going to go where resin has ever been. So if I don't drip off the side and I keep it on there, it's just going to stay on there and it's going to dome beautifully. It's going to seal in that vinyl that I put on from the Cricut on there beautifully and we're not going to have any issues. And now it's the next day again and time for demolding. Now you can see this one turned out really, really nice. I've got a shiny flat surface. Um, I did not, I put enough on it to the point that it did make it to the edges. Um, and demolding the Christmas tree and you'll see what I'm talking about how you can see the um, Mary coming through and the blue um, It comes out easily you just kind of got to be careful with star in the middle and make sure that your little knobby thing doesn't get ripped off But you see how beautiful that looks and it's nice and two-toned just gorgeous And then here we go. This is that extra one that I made um, I, I don't have a video of that as far as the vinyl and stuff yet I may include that in a little short later on. Uh, here's the bell. Again, same thing. Be careful with the little knob that you don't rip it off. Just want to kind of go kind of slow. And there's the Christmas tree. And that one turned out cute as well. I did get a few air bubbles in that I was just showing. And now we're to the snowflake. This one I absolutely love. I mean, it's probably got to be one of my favorites.
just kind of coaxing it out of the mold right now. Look at how beautiful that is. So now I'm just going to show how I attach the ribbon to the other ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of ribbon. It's probably about, I don't know, eight to 10 inches long or so. And I'm going to fold it in half and put the folded half through from the back to the front and then just kind of wrap it around. Um, I absolutely suck at tying bows. Like I cannot make a beautiful bow to save my life. I've experimented with a couple different ways of doing it and i think the easiest way honestly is to kind of tie a little knot figure out how big that you want the from where your ornament top is to where they're going to hang it on like a tree or a hook or whatever tie a knot up there and then do a bow i'm sure most of you can do bows better than i can i i didn't even attempt it in this one because i'm telling you they're just terrible well guys, that's it for my video. Thanks so much for watching and learning with me. And if you stick around right after this, I've got my glamour shots. Thanks again. Click the like and subscribe. I appreciate you guys. Love you. Bye.